So, and we're rolling. Yeah, he gets, yeah. I paid you lunch yesterday. Cheaply bastard. No, sorry. So, so, we're here with Rob from Epica. And behind him is something uh, scary, but very, very, very beautiful, I must say. Rob, what is this? It's a beautiful bass guitar. Yeah. It's uh, the Dingwall D-Rock Hellboy <clears throat> Rob from the Low Signature Bass. So, ex apart from the beautiful artwork, what's uh, so special about it? Because there is something very special about this bass. You got that right. Of course, yeah, exactly the artwork, hence the name Hellboy. Um, it actually has a new bridge, as you can see. Yeah, very fancy. But one of the most exciting features on this bass is that it actually has a built-in overdrive system, which is uh, based on the B3K circuit by Darkglass. Very tasty indeed. And you have the three pickup layouts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, why three pickups on a bass? Compensation. Yep. Sorry. Yeah, that. Cut that out. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, well, actually, um, I've been playing with three pickups just a little bit more as an experiment. Uh, I've been playing with a Super J uh, model, five string bass, and I just wanted to try it out. It was actually kind of a risk I took when, I, uh, when Sheldon built me the bass, but I was like, you know, let's just give it a shot. But what I did is, after a while, when I went on tour, uh, together with my guitar tech, we changed the whole wiring circuit. And what, in the end, what we did was, because most settings were actually just in parallel, and it's just like, I wanted to make it sound a little bit more brutal somehow, because it sounds very sweet, I like it, but if I compare it, compare it to my Super, J, Super PJ model, that one sounds a little bit more, I don't know. Gnarly, yeah. Yeah. yeah, gnarly, exactly, a little bit more rock sound. So what we did was actually, um, on the fourth setting, we actually combined all the three pickups. But it's actually the bridge pickup, middle pickup together in parallel. With this one in series. Oh, that's some strange sorcery you got going there, I have to say. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, I tried the pedal version of your preamp yesterday. We, Sheldon was kind enough to bring it out, so I tried it with the D-Rock. I have not touched your bass, I, I swear to God. Uh, and it's, it's really, like, tasty. It's a, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an angry distortion, but not, like, too much. No, no. no that's exactly. I don't see the point why you should build in, like, in, like, like for instance, a fuzz or whatever. If somebody wants it, whatever, but, but not for me. I will, the main thing is, like... Of course, I mean, it also has to do with the name of the, uh, the yeah. bass, the Hellboy bass. We wanted yeah. to make it a little bit mean somehow. And, uh, but yeah, I would be, I've been thinking about that, that idea before, just like a, more like a next level yeah. tone knob, basically. Yeah. That's what it does. Because yeah. basically what you do is you're working with the harmonics. Yeah, yeah exactly. And you attenuate the upper harmonics. And I, I tried putting it in series with some other distortions, like stacking the overdrives. And like I said in a previous video, it, it felt like having a tube scream in front of a nice saturated amp. You accentuate the highs. Yeah, it, it's, 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 it's actually really, really cool. Yeah, that's the cool thing is on one hand, it's, it's actually quite subtle. But exactly like you said, it, uh, if you combine it with other pedals or amps, it makes it a little bit, yeah, it makes it sound a little bit bigger, angrier. And yeah, it's a cool extension of your playing, of course. Yeah, yeah it really is. So, uh, about the artwork. Yeah. So, uh, how much of a Hellboy and Comics fan are you? Huge. I mean, the fact that I'm... Oh, yep, yep. Yeah, look, yeah, look there. Yeah. Yep. There you see it. Yeah, now we see yeah. it. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, it's a really cool, like... It's right in your face when you see it. Yep. I really love it. So, Rob, thank you so much for taking your time talking to me about your beautiful bass. Thank you very much. Thank you.